Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game or card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Rathus, the card game and deck. This is a deck that you could play any other type of game, and it's also for Rathus, which is a trick-taking game. It plays two to four players, and it takes roughly about 30 to 45 minutes to play, or you can play as many sets as you'd like, and it's for ages 10 and up. In the game Rathus, you're basically going to be getting a deck of cards. There are a few differences. In fact, the 10 is actually a character um, called L, and there's a few other bonuses, like three jokers and two one-shot trick type cards. Uh, and the way it works is similar to other card games, where I'm playing a card down um, and then another player is playing a card down and whoever has the top suit or the highest number is the winner. There's some unique little card tricks that can be taking place but the idea of the game is you want to win an entire hand uh, on the trick and if you can do that then you reset and if not you go to six cards and then five cards and then four cards until somebody wins that entire hand and after you win three hands total then you win the game. Pretty simple, straightforward trick-taking game, or maybe not. Let's explain how to set the game up, which is really easy, and then how to play, and my review. I'm gonna put the setup and the how to play together, because setup is really quick and really simple. You take the deck of cards, you shuffle it, and then you deal out seven cards to each player. After you've got seven cards to each player, you begin the game. How the game works is also simple. The player starting is, you know, you can choose a starting player however you'd like. There's one that's recommended in the rule book sub. Um, and you can go ahead and have that player play a card out. There are four different types of suits. You have squares, you have cubes, you have swirls, and you have stars. The highest set of suit uh, is going to be the cones here. Um, and what you're doing is you're playing a trick. You're playing a card face up, and then in clockwise order, each player will also play a card. And you're gonna try and play a card of the same suit and higher than the, pre than the previous card that was played. And if you can beat it, if you can play something higher, you'll win. Otherwise, you lose. Now, you can also choose to play a card uh, that's not the same suit. And in general, you will lose the trick unless it's a cone. If it's a cone, it will beat. It's like a trump card. Uh, and when you play that, depending on who played the correct card, whoever played the highest value card is going to win the trick. That person will get both cards, and then they are now going to play. They'll play a card out from their hand, and then the other players will play a card from their hand, and then the player who has the highest trick in, uh, in the hand is going to win. And you'll just keep going on from there. And like I said, if you're able to actually get an entire uh, hand of cards and win all those tricks, then you're good. However, if you don't, what ends up happening is all the cards will go back into the deck. And then you're going to shuffle the deck up and you are going to rinse and repeat, but everybody's going to get one less card. And in this case, each player is going to get six cards as opposed to seven. So slowly but surely, it gets more likely where players are going to be able to win an entire hand. And in fact, it can even go down to one card. There are also some tiebreakers if players play certain things that involve ties, which will happen um, to allow players to basically reveal the, a card from the deck at random, and the player who has the higher card is the winner. So that's how most tiebreakers work. There's also a couple unique cards. Like for instance, you have the Joker here. The Joker is basically a super card. It wins all tricks. Uh, there's also a card called L. Now in this deck, it's gonna be a two through nine, L, Jack, King, Queen, Ace, and then the Jokers. L is basically a 10. Um, and how L works is she is basically just a 10, but is kind of like a face card instead. And she looks like this. It's got an E on here instead of the 10. And she functions very similarly to those cards. And then there's one other type of a card, which is called a one time trick or like a, like a, 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 an oof card. What happens is normally you have cones that will instantly let you win. But when you play this, the one TT, you can choose a new suit uh, to be the trump and then you'll get an L of that suit. So I can, like for instance, I don't know, let's say a, a jack of squares is played. I can play my one TT and then I can choose um, to have an, an L of cones. Or I can play my L of cones or L of squares first and they'll have to actually use uh, the square as a trump, so a jack would actually win in that case. So playing it is very important as to how you choose to play it. And that's basically the idea of the game. It's a trick-taking game that's a little bit different than other trick-taking games you've probably played before, and it has a different type or variety of cards in it, and all of the sets are going to be different as well, so as opposed to like spades and hearts and diamonds and so, so, so on and so forth, you're gonna be having squirrels, stars, squares, and cones. 
Um, and yeah, that's the idea of the game. If you want to play this deck as a regular deck of cards, you can simply take out the Jokers and take out the 1TTs, and then you're going to have a hand of cards. Just know that L is going to be 10, and it's named that way. Uh, there's an interesting story in the game as to how this was kind of created and Americanized. But other than that, that's the basic idea of how you play the game. Rathus. Okay, so let's talk about the game. So first of all, the original deck of cards is a French deck, right? And in this case, they have kind of Americanized the deck. No longer do you have some of the different cards as far as suits go, but you've changed those. But also, instead of the 10, you're now going to have L. She's not as good as a Jack, but she's still pretty dang good. Um, this game is basically like hearts, hearts in a lot of ways. There are some unique combinations. And also when you look into the rules, it kind of explains and gives you like an, an advanced uh, or detailed uh, summary of different types of results in play. Like when you can get a, a preem or a skunk or a cream, uh, you save face or lose face. And there's like different situations and circumstances where these things can come up, but also details like the history of the game. Like to note, I said as well, this is a deck of playing cards that is basically Americanized and you can play it as a playing card deck if you would like, but it's also a deck of cards that can be used to play specifically Rappus. Um, and that's kind of what his intention was for. Uh, the unique twist to the game is obviously being able to play Joe Jokers and 1TTs and then Ls. Uh, these are kind of like the main changes uh, to the game in which you're trying to play out the trump suit if you don't have the suit you need in order to score. And your objective is to obviously score as many from your hand as possible. Once you get to three, you win. Uh, and it goes lower and lower, which is kind of an interesting little twist where eventually it gets, it goes from like strategy to slowly adding a little bit more luck into the game as it progresses. So when you only have one card left, well, that's, you know, that's, that is what it is. But if you can manage to score a hand before that happens, then you can, you know, use a little bit more strategy involving how you play your cards and when you choose to play them. Uh, if you like trick-taking games, if you like uh, cards, uh, a deck of cards that want to involve a little bit different than what you're probably used to, uh, and something that still can play other card games that you know and love, then this is going to be a cool little set of cards. It's a straightforward set of poker playing cards with a unique game mechanic added to it, with a unique little history that's kind of changed a bit, just specifically for this set of cards, and different pieces of art. Uh, some of the art is cool, some of it's less my, f I mean the Joker is kind of weird to me, but the other ones are fine. It's kind of a unique little playing card deck, and the all other thing I kind of wish they did in this deck was I wish they had mirrored backs because when I draw cards, they might not have the exact mirror on the back here. And in this type of a game, it might not matter as much, but in other playing games, if I wanted to use this to play poker or something like that, it would matter because I would know what new cards players have gotten and how they've organized their hands. So having mirrored backs is always fairly important in these type of games. Other than that little qualm with the game, the trick taking game is a fairly straightforward trick taking game that works very well, and the deck works well as a deck to play almost any game that you'd ever like to play. Overall though, Rapus is a solid little trick taking game, it plays family friendly, and it plays up to four players, and I like trick taking games, so this is a solid recommendation. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game or card game review for the game Rapus. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick this game up. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. If you would like, you can also hit that subscribe button on the channel, which we greatly appreciate it. And of course the bell notification button. If you've seen more than one of our videos right here and you think we've earned it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise though, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. We'll hopefully have a written review coming soon from Brian on the channel, as well as some ads. So you guys can go ahead and check out the game for yourself. If you don't manage to see it now, hopefully you'll see it soon. All right guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to winning the trick without you next time.